I'm going to show you how I charge my battery. Um, I have my little portable generator that I take along with me so I can charge my battery. It serves a useful purpose when you go out to remote areas like this uh, big giant park that I have close by my house. I'll get it all set up now and I'll show you how I charge it. Okay, I got my extension cord running to the back of my pickup and uh, got the power supply hooked up. Turn down the pop look minimum voltage. And right now my watt meter is reading 10.7 volts. And I'm gonna hook up the battery. And we're gonna vary this uh, pot here so we can start reading 5 amps. Okay, I've got the uh, the battery hooked up. Uh, you can leave the battery in the plane when you're doing this. It's not going to explode on you or anything. I always leave uh, these uh, new A123s inside all my planes. And we're going to crank up the current. I'm next to the road so you're going to hear a lot of cars going by. Again, I'm adjusting it with this pot here. Variable pot. Power supply is adjustable from 11 to 18 volts. See my current's going up. So, crank that up to 5 amps. And I'm going to maintain that 5 amps throughout the whole period of the charge. I don't have a timer with me time this but it does we timed it yesterday at the field and it was uh, averaging between 12 and 13 minute charge time Still charging. Five amps. The uh, the current uh, input at 200 milliamps is what put in the battery so far. Voltage is at 13.8 volts. Still adjusting it to maintain five amps. This is uh, my GWS P51. I've had it for a number of years already. With this new battery, it came out to close to 22 ounces. But it flies great. I love this plane. I've fiberglassed it. It's all fiberglass. The wings are very solid. See, today is a windy day, but I do like flying in windy days. It's about 16 to 20 mile per hour winds. Okay, I'm going to call the charge done. It's at 0.2 amps and uh, maximum. I put in a thousand fifteen million. 